Men's issues have been observed to have reached an all-time high. For many years, the plights of man remain at the underbelly of society, hidden away from the public gaze as challenges such as alcoholism, depression, lack of identity, and drive continue to persist amongst the youth. This chronic injustice has resulted in a downward spiral, and as numerous initiatives are implemented to bolster and empower St. Lucia's next generation of women, one must wonder where are the safeguards to assist and elevate our young males. Counseling psychologist Calistas Jean-Louis asserts that this phenomenon stems from the lack of male organization and agenda in our society, as St. Lucian's young men are often forgotten and left to fall by the wayside. I have not seen men coming out in an organized way to deal with male issues. You see legislation about domestic violence um, being enacted. And, and basically, when you see how it is drafted and, and, and the people who are, who are perpetuating and, or, or doing the PR um, on that legislation, basically, where they're focusing on men. It, it is not, in other words, the legislation is supposed to be non-gender specific. Whosoever commit the crime, but the focus seems to be um, on men. And, and I'm just saying, men seem to be devoid of, of, of being organized, being structured, so that they could provide that type of leadership and guidance, okay, um, that can deal with male issues. Jean-Louis explains that in recent years, guidance for our young men has been lost, as many men do not possess suitable role models or mentors, an issue that is constantly overlooked. They are saying they can make more money than me on the streets, but the following day, they will be on the street asking you for a dollar because they have already spent that, that money on shoes, on gold tooth, uh, on, on, on all sorts of unnecessary things. So it tells me about what, how we are being conditioned, okay? It, 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 it tells me about who are our heroes, and it also tells me about the type of mentorship that, that, that our men are exposed to. And, and, and I, I'm, I'm now talking and I'm looking at um, the Ministry of Gender Affairs. And I think that is the ministry for the starting point that ought to be, be, be pushing gender issues. But about 90% or if not 99% of the thrust of, of gender issues is basically about females. And the reason for that, we, women are more focused, they, they are more Organized. The counseling psychologist affirms that male disillusionment has the potential to reach concerning levels, as he warns of the societal extinction of men initiative, calling St. Lucia's men to action. So men, what I'm saying, let us open our eyes. Let us organize ourselves. Let, let us propagate men issues so that we can balance, because I believe they should have a balance between male and female. We can inspire, inspire our young men to be achievers, to be goal getters. We can inspire them that there are opportunities out there and the sky is the limit. Because they can be permanent secretaries too, the vast amount of permanent secretaries, just checking our government. Now, again, nothing wrong with that. Because if I qualify myself and I work towards that, I ought not to be discriminated. Okay? But men are being left behind. behind. And pretty soon, as I said, AI will, will be taking over their responsibilities in the home, and men most probably would be obsolete. In the end, Callistas Jean-Louis calls for the balance amongst our government officials and society in addressing issues which exist between both genders, as we should not allow men or women to be left behind and become consumed by their struggles. For Choice News Now, this is Obi Offer reporting.